The Texas Longhorns are officially back. After over a decade of not living up to their standard, they finally got over that hump and in 2023, the Texas Longhorns made their first college football playoff appearance ever. Mac Brown had an incredible run from 1998 to 2009. During that time period, he actually led them to 9 plus wins every single season and he led them to multiple national championship appearances. And Texas won a national championship with one of the most historic college football teams of all time which was the 2005 Texas Longhorns that were led by one of the greatest college football quarterbacks of all time, Vince Young. But 2010 was truly the start of the downfall for this Texas team, as Mack Brown only led Texas to a 5-7 record, which was very weird to see after they had just made the national championship just the previous season in 2009. And from 2010 to 2022, the Texas Longhorns only had one double-digit win season, and they never even made the Big 12 championship game. And they weren't living up to their standard, which was winning double-digit games every single season and being one of the best teams in college football. Mack Brown had a great run with Texas, but all great things must come to an end. And Mack Brown didn't have the same amount of success at Texas in the early 2010s. And Texas may have stayed down for quite a while, but today this is a truly different Texas team now that they are led by head coach Steve Sarkeesian, who was one of the best offensive-minded coaches in all of college football. And before 2023, Texas was just a fringe top 25 team and they could never get over that hump. Mack Brown could not carry over the momentum into the 2010s and Charlie Strong and Tom Herman really couldn't get Texas over that hump either. But in just year 3, Steve Sarkeesian led them to a 12-2 record in a playoff appearance last season. And Steve Sarkeesian kicked off the new era of Texas football by beating Alabama by double digits on the road to open the season. And you best believe Texas is going to be a legitimate national title threat as long as Steve Sarkeesian is the head coach for this team. Because Texas has had three consecutive top six recruiting classes, and Texas also has two future first-round NFL quarterbacks on the depth chart. And today, I wanted to talk about what the future of Texas football looks like heading into the SEC. But as always, before we get into the video, let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Heading into next season, Texas is one of only four college football teams to have a win total of 10 and a half. Texas will also be heading into the SEC and they are third in the country for highest odds at winning the national championship next year. And if that doesn't prove that Texas football is back, then I don't know what will. There is a reason that this team has finally came back to national relevance, and one of the main reasons started with hiring Steve Sarkeesian as head coach. And Steve Sarkeesian has had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get to where he is today, not just in his head coaching career, but in his personal life as well. He used to be an alcoholic, and he has opened up about the obstacles he had to go through after really failing at USC. And he also got fired because of some of the issues he had. He also got divorced back in 2015. He had a lot of downs. But all of this adversity and hitting rock bottom really helped him overcome his alcohol problem and he became sober. And sometimes hitting rock bottom is what it takes because Steve Sarkeesian came back better than ever and when he took this Texas job he had his mind in the right place. He only led them to a 5-7 and seven record in 2021. But Texas had a 3 game improvement in 2022 after going 8-5 and five. and then 2023 was really when Texas put it all together and they got over that hump. And we can now all say that Texas is officially back and they have a very bright future with Steve Sarkeesian as a head coach, and I think they have potential to be even better next season. Steve Sarkeesian is one of the best recruiters in the country, and spending time as the Alabama offensive coordinator in 2019 and 2020 really helped Steve Sarkeesian evolve, as it should because most of the people who have been in that Alabama coaching staff working with Nick Saban has learned a lot. It's one thing to build a roster, but it's another thing for that roster talent to pay off. We've seen a lot of talented recruiting classes wasted, but all the work Steve Sarkeesian is putting in and the recruiting trail is paying off so far. And another big reason for the success that this Texas team has had is because of five-star quarterback Quinn Ewers. And of course, Quinn Ewers did not originally commit to Texas, but getting Quinn Ewers to transfer to Texas really helped elevate this Texas team. And he is not even the only five-star quarterback on that roster, because you got one of the most hyped-up high school players over the last decade sitting on the sidelines, who is five-star quarterback Arch Manning and he is related to the great Eli Manning and Peyton Manning, who both played in the NFL. And it is crazy that a player like Arch Manning has to sit out two seasons, but this honestly just proves how much upside this Texas team has with having a quarterback like Quinn Ewers returning for his final season in 2024. 
And it says a lot that Steve Sarkeesian has been able to maintain and keep both of those quarterbacks on the roster. And this Texas offense is set to do incredible things for the next couple of years. Quinn Ewers took a massive step up in 2023. He passed for 3,479 yards, 22 touchdowns to only 6 interceptions, and he also had a completion percentage of 69. And could you imagine this offense if Quinn Ewers takes another step up in 2024? There is no denying that Steve Sarkeesian is one of the top offensive-minded head coaches in college football right now. Texas had one of the top offenses in the country last season, and the question may be, how are they going to reload after losing NFL talent like Xavier Worthy and Adonai Mitchell, and Jonathan Brooks as well? But let me tell you, they had no problem upgrading that offense even more by adding three high-quality receivers out of the transfer portal. Matthew Golden from Houston, Silas Bolden from Oregon State, and of course, five-star Isaiah Bond from Alabama, who is going to do incredible things for this offense in 2024. And don't forget, they also add four-star tight end Amari Niblack from Alabama. And I expect that Russian attack to be very good again with a guy like C.J. Baxter and Jaden Blue, who both ran for over a combined 1,000 yards last season. And they returned a lot of their offensive line from last season. And I wouldn't be surprised if the offense took a step up in 2024. One place where they could honestly take a step back is that defensive tackle. Because it's going to be nearly impossible to replace guys like Devondre Sweat and Byron Murphy, who will both be second or first round draft picks. They were beast up front for this team last season, and they helped lead a defensive front seven that only gave up 80 rushing yards a game, which was fourth in the country. But that's just college football as a whole, and players will come and go, and you have to continue to adapt. Vernon Broughton is going to have to step up at defensive tackle. He has hardly played for this team over his time here, but he has stayed loyal and will now get a lot more playing time heading into his fifth college football season. And he was a top 80 recruit out of high school, so he does have a lot of potential. But you also add Tia Lali Sevilla from Arizona out of the transfer portal. And I don't know what to expect from Texas at defensive tackle. But they have a huge addition on the edge who is four-star Trey Moore from UTSA. He has wrecked havoc on opposing offenses the last two seasons. In those last two seasons, he had 22 sacks and 100 tackles. This guy could be a huge X-factor on the defensive side. And he could possibly make up for the concerns at defensive tackle, giving them help on the edge. And I have no doubt that Texas has potential on defense. But I don't know if they have a championship defense, and they honestly got exposed in the secondary last season in that game against Washington. And the secondary was the main concern last year, but Texas does return a bunch of talent in that secondary. And they also bring in another massive addition out of the transfer portal, who is Andrew Mukaba from Clemson. He had 6 pass deflections and over 40 tackles for Clemson last season, and he is a huge addition in the secondary. But I really do think Steve Sarkeesian is building this defense up to compete with the best teams in the SEC. You can be a great team and be a top 10 team, but if you want to win national championships, you have to be elite on defense. And I know a lot of people probably say this all the time, but defense wins championships and that remains true probably 90% of the time. You could probably get away with having an offense like 2019 LSU and have a good defense, but most of the time, if you want to win a natty, you have to be elite on defense. And that's probably why Texas couldn't win it all last season, but they are only getting closer and I think they have a lot of potential to grow on defense. And the secondary should take a step up. They have some high upside four-star recruits in their 2024 recruiting cycle. And I don't know if they're going to play a huge role this year, but the future at secondary looks very bright with guys like Kobe Black, Wardell Mack, and also Xavier Fizeme. And also keep an eye on five-star edge rusher Colin Simmons because he is a player I could see making a big impact right away. Texas returns two players that are still young with a lot of talent in the secondary. Derek Williams Jr. and Malik Mohamed. And they should both get a bunch of playing time next year. But you also return a veteran in the secondary like Yada Baron, who has a lot of upside because he had 59 tackles and 5 pass deflections and also an interception last season. And they return Michael Taffy who had 3 interceptions and 48 tackles last season as well. They should definitely take a step up in the secondary at the very least because they return a lot and they add even more players in the secondary. They didn't really lose much in the secondary. But defensive tackle is a concern, but they have talent that could step up. And they have guys on that defense who are going to make a huge impact. And just like the offense, I think the defense has potential to take a step up. And this is why they are third in odds to win the national championship next season. And when you make the playoffs and return 70% of production from last season, you best believe you will take a step up. And of course, the cherry on top to all of this is having a top three college football quarterback back who is Quinn Ewers. I'm not making any predictions, but when evaluating this team, I see a team that could be playing for the 2025 national championship. And I'm not even a Texas fan, but it must be awesome to see your team back in that national championship picture once again. The landscape of college football is truly changing. 
Nick Saban retired. Conference realignment is really changing the game and transfer portal and NIL is evolving. And I made a video talking about why Kirby Smart is building the next great dynasty at Georgia. But I really think the throne is wide open for any coaches to step up and take it. And I do expect a lot of crazy things to happen over the next decade because a lot is changing. But if Steve Sarkeesian hasn't already submitted himself as one of the top college football coaches, then next year you best believe he will submit his legacy even more. And I wouldn't be surprised if Texas wins a national championship or national championships with Steve Sarkeesian. The top dog of college football right now seems like Kirby Smart. And that's just the honest truth. But that could always change. And Steve Sarkeesian may just be the fastest rising head coach in all of college football. And the future of Texas football is brighter than ever heading forward. So I am definitely excited to see what happens. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.